In this screencast, we'll discuss the concept of stability, where by stability we will refer to bounded output or bounded input. And we will discuss stability in the context of a closed loop system, in particular the closed loop blending process. So as in the previous screencast, we will use flow rate W2 is our manipulated variable and mass fraction of species A as our control variable. And we will close the loop such that we calculate the value of our manipulated variable based on the measured value of the control variable. So what we want to do is to figure out if we make a bounded change to our input, which in this case is our set point for x, do we have a bounded response? So stability is important for a closed loop system. It's not sufficient to show good set point tracking, for example, but it is necessary. We do not want a system that goes unbounded in X for a bounded change in input. So one particular question that we can ask and answer is, for what values of KP our feedback gain is the system stable, is the closed loop system stable? And we can determine the stability of the system based on the closed loop transfer function. So previously we had calculated G closed loop. So ideally we would want these to match. We would like X to match its set point value. But that's not going to be possible in practice. In particular, to calculate the stability of our closed loop system, we can write out the characteristic equation. And in the characteristic equation, we set the denominator of our transfer function equal to zero. It then turns out that the closed loop system here will be unstable if the real part of S is greater than zero. So this is a general result, but we can calculate it for our particular system by solving for S. So by observing this expression, we can see that it could take a positive value or it could take a negative value. And if f equals zero, that would be kind of the critical point when we go from being stable to unstable. So let's go ahead and solve for that crossover point. So this tells us that if kp is less than 160, then the closed loop system will be stable, whereas kp greater than 160, then the closed loop system is unstable. So let's go ahead and consider a value of kp equals negative 1000. We considered that in the previous screencast. Now there's a reason that we consider negative numbers here. We have a negative gain on our process. And that is going to require then that we have a negative gain on our controller. There's a physical reason for that. Stream two coming into the tank does not have any of species A, according to our set point and steady state values that we calculated previously. So by increasing the flow rate of W2 into the tank, we are diluting X in the system. So if we are too low in terms of our value of x in the tank relative to the set point, we actually need to turn down the flow rate going into the tank. So that's what this negative gain on the system is going to give us. We can calculate what is the value of s in our characteristic equation if we have a proportionality constant of negative 1000. So we can see here that with a proportionality constant in our controller of negative 1000, we have a value of s in our characteristic equation that is negative, so the system should be stable. One way that we can consider the effect of kp on our closed loop system is to make what's called a root locus plot. So we just calculated the root of the closed loop transfer function by solving the characteristic equation. So the root locus plot allows us to visualize how the roots of the system change as we change kp. In the root locus plot, plot the imaginary value of s versus the real value of s. Now in this particular case 
we don't have an imaginary component. S is always going to be real. But we can plot how the roots of the system would change as we change Kp. We can plot this crossover value here. And in fact, we can get any value, the real part of S, for an appropriately chosen value of Kp. We can set S to be anything and solve for Kp. So our root locus actually goes from negative infinity to positive infinity here. But for any value of Kp less than 160, we will have stability in our closed loop system. We will have bounded output in X for a bounded change in X set point.